Hey, I thought I'd make a video of the RV since I've got a lot of uh, friends that are kind of curious about it. But there it is. It's an Itasca Cambria. And you can kind of see. And I want to say it's like 27 footer. But everyone's got that boring old brown interior, tan interior. I think every single RV has to have that crappy paint scheme in the inside. So we did a little different. We're keeping this one. It's a 2008. Let's go inside so you can see. I don't have the slides open, but it does have a slide. But I decided to get a little colorful in here. Some people like their boring interior, not me. So first in the front, got me some fur. There you go, put up some fur because it's comfortable that way. And you can't really see real good, but I had a new stereo system put in. It's got a big old amp underneath this seat and ooh, big 10 inch subwoofer. So when you're going down the road, we're rocking. All right, put up some uh, new cloth, I guess, fabric over the sides that got rid of that brown. All right, you know, typical RV, TV. Then I redid all the fabric. It's real easy. Look, I even put in a little bling. Woo. Okay, so we got this. This whole slide goes out and it gets it really roomy let's see what other modifications did we do this comes up and that's standard but it didn't have cup holders and i was sitting back here everything would be flying around so we put some of this i wish it was night out but all of this right here glows in the dark it's pretty cool and then we did some leds just under the counters right there and we did some in the back but those change colors and we keep our little remote right there okay this has a double sink and here's the cool stuff you know I was scared to put up tile in an RV shaking around bouncing everywhere but see these beautiful glass tiles not glass at all you can't tell but this is like a vinyl tile that we put up it looks really easy and stuck it on there and I wanted to make sure it stayed good so we did some contact cement to be sure I just didn't trust the just the plain old stickiness and as far as um, controls okay this is where you've got all that stuff um, we added in a battery monitor just because you never know what this is really telling you and there's been times where you know you test levels it says full but then is it really no so that's real easy to install um, then the rest just typical normal stuff we call this the minnow the SS minnow because we used to have a big class A and we called it the whale so when we downsized to this we decided to rename this and it is now the SS minnow so we had to get the fish so there's a giant fish in here um, the fridge, standard fridge, has those standard panels. So I took them off and I repainted it in a little cow theme. But it's like this weird textured paint. It's shiny. There you can see how it's glossy. But it had like a little speckles that it does. It came out really nice. Easy to do. Um, there's the bathroom door. We got a little creative with that. Uh, let's see what else. I put up uh, just a little shelf and decorated it because that's the worst thing when you're in one of these type of RVs you don't have nightstands you've got wall-to-wall -wall bed where do you put all your crap so we put that so I can have my glasses and everything else and here's the cool thing on this side whoop, and on this side laying in bed you want to have something to drink can't put it down look at that holds your drink so it's pretty cool and then we did install a TV back here that is, uh, you know, it swivels and it moves. Um, we went with a Samsung TV, not 12 volt TV. I think it's rated for like 14 volt, still works great. Plugged it, cut off the cord, went right into the 12 volt system. Works fine. 
But yeah, this RV is so much fun. Small, get into anything, and when the slide's out, you got plenty, plenty of room. Maybe I'll come back and, and do it when it's open. But there you go. It goes to show you right there. You don't have to stick with the brown theme. Change it up.